All right, so <clears throat> now we're going to talk about materials. So if you wanted to do some renderings or do something with Inkscape or something like that where it's going to show the materials, you need to adjust the materials because it's just put default material gray on there. So down here I'm going to go to realistic and that's showing the material. So everything's gray. Um, <clears throat> if I go back to shaded, it shows the colors that came from Rhino. So the Rhino colors stay consistent, but the materials won't come even if you've assigned them in Rhino. They just won't come through. So <clears throat> what we need to do is reassign those. So you need to go to your manage tab and the materials. And the way that the Rhino materials come in is they just come in under material. So you'll get these, if you scroll down to materials, you'll start to get these material listings, right? And if you left click on material two, that looks like it's the roof, right? And so I'm just going to rename this one Roof. Or how about something consistent so they stack together. Um, we'll call it F Roof. Right? And so if I come in and I go to the appearance, right? I can update the appearance. So graphics is how it appears on the page, right? So what is the shading, right? What's the surface pattern, background pattern, cut pattern, all that kind of stuff. We kind of controlled that with the visibility graphics. Um, I'm going to go to the appearance. And this is what it looks like when it renders. So when I go to realistic, it's just showing gray. So if I wanted that roof to be like... Um, like a fabric roof, um, I could come in and I could set an image to that, right? So again, I can go to my textures right here and go to views, thumbnails, and I can pick out like maybe um, a light texture. So I'll just pick out this ping that's a color and click open, right? Oh, it's kind of sandy, but we'll see how that works. And then I'll come in and make it transparent, right? Because the roof wants to be a little transparent. So how transparent, I don't know. We'll take it at about maybe 65%. Then I'm going to go to graphics, use render appearance, which should turn it that color. And then if I hit apply, you'll see that that material is now applied to that roof. And then what you would do as you would go through each one of these materials, right? So material 17 and they're purple. So obviously those are the floors. So you would want to go through and adjust, you know, rename this F floor, right? And then go to your appearance and you know, you don't have to make it a texture. You could just make it like a color. So if I made it like a light, a light color, right? And then use render appearance and then apply, right? You'll see those guys update, okay? Now, if you're not interested in using materials in the beginning, you can use Inkscape, which will allow you to make the whole thing white, um, which is possible. So, this is not something that's absolutely necessary unless you want to render it. Obviously, we got some nice views. So now if I go to Material 19, that's a yellow. So let's... I'm not sure what the yellow is exactly. Um, but you kind of get the point. Let's go through... Oh, the yellow may be the glass right so I'm going to use a shortcut MT for the materials and then I'll just type in material up here All right oh, so weird that it doesn't come up everything has material in it so it's kind of a so if that is maybe the glass you would come in Let's use render appearance and go to appearance and we'll make that color kind of a a light blue and 
and we'll turn on the transparency. All right, and we'll apply that. Whoops. Oh, actually, it's the interior walls. So, <laughs> whoops, not so much. So let's apply it just with white. There we go. And I'll make it just white. So there's the interior walls, but you get the point. So you go through and you update all of these. I'll do the wall as the last one. So just so you can see that. So let's see if we can find the wall. Oh, there's those guys. We might as well make those guys white, right? The masses. There we go. And then let's see, what's this guy? Go to graphics. There it looks like the walls. So um, I'll just go to these walls and I'm clicking on no image selected. And then I'll just go down to, there's some CMU, smooth, color gray. Let's try that. Right. Um, this is probably going to look a little weird. Um, let's go to graphics. Okay, and let's apply that. So it's changed the color. Let's go to realistic and see what that looks like, right? So it's fairly tiny, tiny, small. Um, you can go in and adjust that. And let's rename it before I forget. by clicking on the image and adjusting the sample size. So I'll make that 10 feet. Right. And maybe we'll do an image fade a little bit and lighten it up. Make that white and apply. Right. So a little better. But you would work your way through right and get to the point and then you could make some more 3d views with realistic on or you could do renderings or use inscape at this point um, we're not going to use inscape right out of the bat here but we will eventually all right now one thing um, that i'll talk about is sort of the pros and cons in the next um, video